All right, we're going to use this chart to analyze the stories we have so far. So that means you do have to read them in Chinese. You have to comprehend them. And in here, I, I suggest you write in English. The whole point is for you to read and understand the stories. It's not a writing activity. It is a, it's a comprehension activity. So how to make the story compelling? You could have a story that says, um, Harry Potter was very tall, and he was very happy. The end. It's missing something. It wasn't compelling. It's not a, it's not a compelling story. So these are the four stages of storytelling. Um, introduce your characters in a setting, in a time or place. So, so far, many of our stories, do we know? We don't know where, but we know when, yeah? Shang Shang Yue. Shang Yue. Shang Shang Yue Xingqi. Okay, number two. Introduce a conflict for the characters to resolve. And that's your challenge, is to go into those stories and figure out what was the conflict? What were they trying to resolve? Oftentimes, they were just little social problems, but they were trying to work through them. Illustrate the characters struggling to resolve that conflict. So, um, Harry Potter was in England, and he found out his friend was sick. And his friend got better at the end. It's lacking something. There's no struggle. They have to, they have to push to make the ending work. So, struggling to resolve the conflict. And then, the fourth step. Illustrate the characters resolving the conflict in either success or failure. They can fail, it's okay. But it needs to end. Your story has to have an ending. Harry Potter, he was very tall, he was very happy. His friend was sick. The end. It's missing something. It's missing an ending. Okay, so go through the stories. Uh, choose two stories to compare to each other. I would suggest doing it in English. If you want to challenge yourself and write some feeding your character phrases, fine, it's up to you. But the point is to, to understand and analyze the stories in Chinese as they are.